This one, I think I'm more of a, at a loss for words. I feel like a lot of this, it, it could have been prevented. Jason John's family and friends have been pushing for changes to be made to the Lady Bird Trail, where John had been seen walking toward. They've wanted to see better lighting and more surveillance cameras, warning that if something wasn't done, history would repeat itself. Fences have been put up, warning signs are now posted, and even lighting has been installed, but victims' friends and family say it's not nearly enough. What happened to Jason, we were really um, adamant about having people there, the cops, I think, um, county police, whoever could be there on foot. I think at the beginning, there was a lot more urgency, and then it kind of dissipated over time. It almost feels like the work that we tried to do or have done is just going unnoticed. John's body was pulled from the lake eight days after his family and friends from all over came to Austin to search for him. He would be one of five men found in or near the lake last year. Jason John's autopsy report ruled his death as accidental, although his mom tells CBS Austin she's convinced there's foul play involved. Austin police says the incident Saturday is not being investigated as a homicide, although homicide detectives were on scene. At this time, this is not being investigated as a homicide. It is being investigated as a deceased person and the steps being taken are our normal operating procedures. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.